A lot of you are making a lot of great progress today. Now, are these lined up? Yeah, the Y, the Y, but then there's an equal sign, but this one, the X's. But we do know that Y equals the 3X. Substitution method. This, what I don't see a lot of people doing, and it's probably because we didn't really talk about it yesterday. Look at how I do this. Look at the screen. I think this visual is going to be good for some of us. Here, take a look at the screen. I circle what y equals, and then I draw an arrow into where I'm going to plug it in. It's on freeze. Thank you. <laughs> I circle what y equals, so it, I can't. Dr you can't drag and drop like we did on the smart board yesterday, but you can draw a circle around this 3x and physically draw where you're going to plug it in. Instead of writing this y here, I'm going to substitute in 3x. Because y equals 3x. So I'm going to write 3x minus x equals 4. I substituted in this 3x. So 3x minus x is what? Equals 4. Divide each side by 2. x equals 2. The key part here, though, the part that we focused on yesterday, we know what y equals. It equals that 3x chunk. We take that chunk. We substitute it in for y. That's why we call it substitution. All right, now that I know what x is, how do I find y? Wait, I, I know how to do this. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to, right? Number, well, number one. Okay, you can help with number two. So if x equals two, I do the same thing. I substitute in two for x. I can do it to either equation. Alyssa did it into the second equation. Alyssa, what did you get for y in the first problem? Six. She got six. Let's see if I, I'll do it in the first equation. Let's see if we get the same answer. If I plug it in the first equation, y equals three times two. What's three times two? Six. six. Sure enough. Doesn't matter which equation you plug it back into. All right, Alyssa, you're going to help with number two? Okay, so what, what Larissa just did, and I love the fact that she even included the parentheses when she was explaining it, is exactly how substitution works. We know that x equals y plus 3. x equals that chunk. We take that chunk and we substitute it in for x. She eliminated this x and just put in what x equals. x equals the y plus 3. We substitute it in there instead of writing x. Now we have an equation just with y's. What do we do okay. next? The next thing you do is you just write here. Okay. 3y plus 9 plus y equals 3y. Um, the next thing you do is you add the y's to the y. Um, you also do like subtract the y because you subtract the y. Same side equals great. Yeah, so 4y plus 9 equals 3y equals 3y. Okay. Y equals what? Great. There's a great explanation. And, you know, Deja, like you said, this, some people find this way a little bit easier. And it depends how it's set up. Now, Larissa, how, how do you find X? Oh, you're going to plug it into here? No, or x plus 3. Or x, yeah, or x, um, 4 plus 3, yeah. And, then and the beauty is either one will work, yeah. but That's just 
Exactly. And pick the easier one. You're less likely to make a mistake. So we have x equals 4 plus 3, so x equals 7. Greg, do you have a question? Yeah, the whole point is that uh, the solution to the system, the y's and the x's both have to be the same for both equations. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, so these next two. This next two is interesting because it can be an elimination or a substitution. Yeah, I think the substitution is actually easier even though it, it's lined up for an elimination. Here we know that y equals 3x plus 1. If that's what y equals, substitute it in. 3x plus 1 equals 5x minus 3. You could do elimination here, but I think substitution might be a little bit easier. Yes, you can do number 4. So subtract 3x from each side. We have 2x. 1 equals 2x minus 3. Add 3 to each side. 4 equals 2x, and we have x equals 2. We can substitute in 2 to either of our equations. So y equals 5 times 2 minus 3, that's 10 minus 3. y equals 7. Now, Deja, Deja did this next one as, oops. Elimination. Did anybody try to do substitution here? Yeah, that's the thing. Larissa brings up the important point. Do we know what x equals or y equals? It's not written like that. It's not written like that. But could we make one of them look like that? Jamila, how would we do that? If we subtract 3y from each one, we actually could get what x equals. So you could do this. Or you could just use elimination. This is what I mean by we're going to give you problems. We're not going to say do it by substitution or do it by elimination. You've got to determine which one makes more sense. You would subtract 3y from each side so you get x by itself. Then you could substitute that chunk in for x up here. All right, Deja, explain what you did for this one. Okay, so what I did was, I looked at it and then I know, I rewrote all of my things, so I put 3x minus 2y to 7. And then I see that I need a number, so what I did is I did negative 3 because I know that I want to call the x to be counted out. All right, pause right there, because that's the tricky part. So Deja recognized that if we just add these up, we're not going to get a cancellation. Deja Henry, do we see that? We're not going to get a cancellation if we just add these up. So Deja's got to think, what number can we multiply this equation by so that when we do add them, we will get a cancellation? And you pick negative 3. Let's see why that works. So what did you get? Right. And that's that's the beauty of the number that you picked. It was the number that when you multiply it, you actually will get an elimination here. Okay, so what did you get here? Okay, one, se one, one thing here though. If we have a minus 2y and a minus 9y, I agree that a negative times a negative yeah. is a positive. But if we're doing a negative and adding a negative, we've got some negatives and we have even more negatives that we're adding to it. 
This is going to be a negative 11. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have that. Yeah, I know you had that. Okay. So, I, what do we do now? So, you know, I have to revise that. You know, you negative 11. And then, so they get 11 means negative 2. Why? How do you figure out what X is? Wait, Negative 2 minus 9y. Now, why is it, when you, when you uh, distribute it, why is it negative minus 9y? Because we're, Deja picked negative 3 to multiply this by. So negative 3 times the positive 3y is a negative 9y. All right, Deja, how do you find x? For which equation? For the top, of top equation. So you've got 3x minus 2, negative 2. So you substituted a negative 2 for y here. All right, then what'd you get? So y equals negative 2, x equals 1.